Why do people leave the organisations they work for? Is it because of the pay, the perks or the lack thereof? In this three-part series, I will explore with you the common factors that cause employee turnover, the strategies you can use to counter these factors, and finally, focus on how to deal with a common factor that many rapidly growing small businesses face, a heavy workload. I will be right back. Welcome back. My name is Raymond Huan, and if you own your own business, you're interested in starting your own business, or you just wish to learn about the tips and tricks on how to operate the business better, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel right now as I will be publishing videos that would challenge the way you do business and to do it better. In this first video, the first of a three-part series, I discuss the common factors found in many organizations that may be causing employees to leave at a faster pace than average. Are you finding it difficult to retain employees, even when your business is doing well? We all know that it's costly for any organization when employees leave, but more so for small businesses. When your employees leave, you need to find someone with preferably similar qualifications ex and experience to replace that person. And it doesn't stop there. You need to train the new hire and teach him or her how things work in your business, all at your expense. Let's take a look at a case study of an ice cream business in Mexico and how employees leaving impact that business. Why Mexico? Well, I chose this case study for two reasons. Firstly, why not Mexico? I mean, why stick to your own backyard when you can explore and learn from other businesses all over the world, right? And secondly, this particular business was surveyed, scrutinized, analyzed, and its results were published for the benefits of business owners like yourself and me. This particular case was the subject of a study published in the academic journal, the Journal of Business Case Studies. They wanted to find out why staff in this Delhi kept leaving the company even when business was doing very well, especially during the peak tourist seasons. So what went wrong? In the service industry, like any other, there are season peaks and lulls in the, such markets. Voluntary turnover, that is when employees decide to leave on their own during peak seasons, can pose a challenge to businesses which will impact on the workload, stress levels, and the morale of the team in a negative manner. The study found quite a few reasons why employees left this particular organization, but I will highlight the top three reasons for you. The study found that the employees complained about two things. There were limited opportunities for moving up and training was insufficient. Now, good employees want to advance in any job, in the same way that business owners want their businesses to grow. When employees don't see themselves growing in a particular role or organization, many of them will leave and look for better opportunities elsewhere at your expense in finding their replacement. Those surveyed expressed that there were instances when supervisory and management staff showed signs of favoritism and treated some men members of the team differently to others. Many employees felt that they were not being recognized for their hard work. And employees want to be treated reasonably. They want to see great work commended and bad behavior penalized. Favoritism is unfair and this can be demoralizing to members of the organization, prompting them to leave the company. Work can be very demanding, particularly when your business is run by a very lean team. And this is the reality for many small businesses. The problem is further complicated when there are other causes for the heavy workload. Many times this is caused by unclear workflows and processes, leading team members to be unsure of what is expected of them. And when employees don't know what to do because it's not properly explained to them, or because there are no, there are no clear processes for certain conditions to work with, this becomes a recipe for high employee turnover. So what should we do? The answers are to address the reasons why the employees left in the first place. Number one, to provide a clear career development and growth path within organization to all employees. Number two, to develop a company culture that cultivates a safe and motivational working environment. And the third and final is to develop a clear workflow and process that will alleviate the heavy workload of your team. But how do you do that exactly? That I will share with you more about in my next video. 
So please watch out for the next installment of this three-part series as I explain how to counter the common factors that cause employees to leave. If you're interested to know more about what a business has to go through when facing exponential growth, you can download the first chapter of the book, 20K to 2 million in two years, absolutely free right now. The chapter talks about the differences between a good and a great business and puts out questions that make you consider how you can turn your business from good to great. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll catch up with you on part two of this video series very soon.